The next Thierry Henry, Champion League winners and future Ballon d'Ors. These are the best teenagers in football and they are shockingly good. Young strikers with promise. And first, we have the teenager who broke the rookie record for most goals scored, Hugo Ekitike. He scored 10 goals in his debut season in League One, more than any other rookie. That's why Newcastle manager Eddie Howe made no secret of his desire to bring Ekitike to Newcastle. That Newcastle have had an offer accepted by Stad Rams for Hugo Ekitike. He is believed to be in the region of 20 to 25 million pounds. But Hugo would have none of it. He had bigger plans because he wanted to play with the big boys at PSG. And PSG made it clear he is going to be a future star at this club. I mean, with Messi, Neymar and Mbappe already standard for the club, you have to be a big one for the club to come looking at you. With such insane talent in our number 10 spot, who could possibly be in the top three? This kid is something special and there were moments in the game yesterday that he did things that you go was that iniesta but we aren't ready for that yet so first let's talk about the one player who at the age of 16 became one of the youngest ever to take the field in one of europe's biggest leagues the american geo reina you see, Gio joined Dortmund first as a 16-year-old and beat former Dortmund superstar Christian Pulisic. But that's not the craziest part about this guy because he became the youngest player to score a hat-trick of assists in the Bundesliga in a 4-0 win over Freiburg at just age 17. But even this kid had to give way to our next guy because this guy is most wanted all over Europe. Jeremy Pino became the youngest player ever to play in a European final back in 2021. And he also became the youngest player to win the competition since Robin van Persie did so in the 2002 UEFA Cup final. But Jeremy is not just about looks. He became the youngest player to score a hat-trick in La Liga and he even added a fourth goal to crown the record even more. No wonder the biggest clubs in Europe are drooling over him and soon he will have to make a choice. But that's not the case for this next guy, because he won the Champions League in his first season with Real Madrid. See, Eduardo Camavinga was long supposed to be the superstar of PSG, but when the Galacticos, Real Madrid, came knocking on the door, the boy couldn't resist. Now he is under the mentorship of the majestic duo Luka Modric and Tony Cruz. This can't go wrong. When Camavinga made his breakthrough in 2020, he became the youngest goalscorer for France in history, beating names like Thierry Henry, Frank Ribéry and Zinedine Zidane. Talk about amazing talent! Now, every name on this list gets even better with each location, but our fifth pick may actually be in the discussion to be number one. You see, the reason he's been chosen at the number six spot is because he hasn't subscribed to half time, and that is something that cannot go unpunished. You see, the subscribe button isn't too far away, so go ahead and subscribe yourself. Now, back to the sixth guy, or shall we say, Barcelona's new number 10, Ansu Fati. You know, as soon as Messi walked out the door, Barcelona gave this kid the number 10 shirt. And if anyone needs a reminder of the importance of the number 10 in Barcelona, Messi, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, and even Maradona. But Ansu does no shame with this number. He is an attacking phenomenon. He can score, he can assist, he can dribble, he can do everything. And Fatih made his first career start in September 2019 and became the youngest player in history to score and assist in the same La Liga match aged 16 years and 318 days. De Jong squares it! Oh, what a stop for the 16-year-old Ansu Fatih! He also became the youngest goalscorer in UEFA Champions League history when he scored in Barcelona's 2-1 win over Inter Milan at the age of 17 years and 40 days. Talk about talent. The only thing that's stopping this guy from becoming the next Messi is injuries. And sadly, he's got a lot of them. 
Now, for our fifth guy, we have to travel to Germany. It's time for Jamal Musiala. When Jamal moved to Bayern Munich in 2019, there was no stopping him in his professional debut. And when he did, he set a new record and became the youngest player ever to play for Bayern Munich. And three months later, he broke a new record again. And it wasn't just any record. The then 17-year-old scored his first Bundesliga goal in an 8-0 win over Schalke, becoming Bayern's youngest goalscorer ever. But Jamal isn't done, because when Musiala represented Germany at UEFA Euro 2020, he became the youngest German player to feature in a major tournament. You know how many German talents emerge every single year, and he broke that record. Now Jamal has plenty of time to set new records. But our next guy has even longer, because he is the youngest in our top 10 list. And to be honest, he might be too young, because he hasn't even learned to tie his shoes. Now, that doesn't seem to stop him in any way, because Gavi is a key member in starting 11 for Barcelona, perhaps the biggest club in the world. And Barcelona valued him so high that when he signed a new five-year contract extension, they added a release clause set at a billion euros. Ridiculous, right? Now, it's not just Barcelona that knows Gavi's value. Because in October 2022, a vote of 32 former Ballon d'Or winners, such as Zidane, Ronaldinho and Ronaldo, voted him for the Copa Trophy winner. It's a trophy that makes him the best under-21 in 2022, and he won it ahead of Kamavinga, Jamal Musiala and Bukayo Saka. He must be good. So, where can we go from here? Well, we're getting into the top three, and these next talents make the list go to a whole new level. And what other way to start the top three than with Florian Wirtz? Wait, have you heard of this guy? If not, let me introduce you to probably the greatest talent Germany has seen since Tony Kroos, Mesut Ozil, and even Michael Ballack. You see, Germany have never entered a tournament without the best midfielder in the world, and now with Tony Kroos rapidly coming to an end, the time has come to pass the torch. And the Wurz is shockingly good. This will end one all, and indeed it's not going to. It's 2-1 already to Bayer Leverkusen. And man, with this talent, it's no wonder why he's linked all over the world. Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City and Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Juventus, Bayern Munich, Dortmund and PSG. Florian Wirtz will be a superstar, but the two teenagers we have left will become even greater. Before we continue, now there's something you need to know because there are some darker things going on here. You see, Spain haven't had a Ballon d'Or winner since 1960 with Luis Suarez and Alfredo Di Stefano in 1959, and it hasn't been looking good for Spain lately either. You see, when the 30 best players of 2022 were announced, none of them were from Spain. The country is on the verge of declaring national mourning. But that is about to change. Because Florian Wirtz will have to face hard competition to become the future best midfielder in the world. Because now, there is a little Spaniard booming. Let us introduce... Pedri. Like Gavi, Pedri won the Copa Trophy in 2021, and when both of them were standing there together in October 2022, as the reigning winner and the current one, any other football fan would be jealous of Barcelona fans. But what makes Pedri so good? Well, remember this guy? Probably the best midfielder ever, and Pedri is like a true copy. Clásico. Clásico? My heart and my soul. Yep. It's with Pedri. This kid is something special. And there were moments in the game yesterday that he did things that you go, was that Iniesta? And Pedri isn't just exciting Barcelona fans, he has already inspired Spanish football to dream of the golden days of Xavi and Iniesta winning everything with Spain. Pedri is a true generational talent, and I don't think we'll ever see a bigger teenager for a very long time, do you? Well, there is one guy 
He was already on everyone's lips. Jude Bellingham. I think Jude Bellingham. Yes. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Exceptional player. I was impressed two seasons ago with seven. Now he's 19. Jude Bellingham. You see, in July 2020, everyone in the world raised eyebrows when this boy left his hometown of Birmingham, aged just 17, to join Borussia Dortmund. Every other club in the entire world wanted his signature, but he didn't go away and let money or fame stop his development. He became the most expensive 17-year-old in history. The sporting director of Dortmund was out and said this, we immediately see Jude as a reinforcement of our professional squad, but of course, we also want to give him time to get used to the higher level. But Jude now needed time to settle. Soon he became the youngest player ever to score in consecutive matches in the Champions League, beating Mbappe's old record. Now all these records are remarkable, but it's what happened in his earlier days that makes him top of our list. Because Bellingham was only 16 when he made his debut for Birmingham, and following his move to Dortmund, Birmingham decided to retire the number 22 shirt in appreciation of what the midfielder achieved in his short time with his first team. All of England then understood what kind of guy this really was. So when he became the youngest ever player to feature in a European Championship match at just 17 years and 345 days, we can truly say that he deserves the top spot of our list. What a talent, and what a story he will become. Damn. Well, you know what else is a good story? This video here. These are shocking records that will never be broken in football. What are you waiting for? Click it before these talents make it obsolete.